My name is Eve Mamawa Fiesel. Mamawa is my Aboriginal name, which I inherited through uh, my mother from the Gubby Gubby people. I'm a Gubby Gubby person on my mother's side and a uh, Gungaloo person on my father's side. The Gubby Gubby area, which we're in at the moment, extends from the north bank of the Pine River to the south bank of the Johnson River, swings westward to Kilkeven, then along the eastern side of the Conondale Ranges to Mullaney, down through Woodford, Caboolture, then back to the Pine River, the North Bank. My father's country is in uh, Western Queensland near Taroom. Our big concern at the moment is a fish that we call Dala, which is a very important fish to the Gubby Gubby people. And we've looked after it for hundreds of years. We were taught not to hurt it, to protect its uh, habitat where it feeds and swims and to stop other people from doing it. It has only been recently that we've learned that Dala, which is a Queensland lungfish in English, is the ancient genome of all vertebrate creatures in the world. And it's important to scientists all over the world. The Mary River runs through the Mary Valley our name, the Gubby Gubby name, is Mamabala, which means two tides, because when it floods and the sea washes up the river, it doubles its height. And so we say it's Mamabala, the river with two tides. We've looked after the animals, particularly Dala, the lungfish, which we say our ancient spirits caused to come out of the sea in the Devonian time. The Devonian time was 80 million years ago, when the only life on earth was in the water. And then Dala, the lungfish, developed a lung and a vertebrae and was able to come out of the water. And from, from Dala has developed all the vertebrate animals. The uh, dinosaurs developed the vertebrates and the dinosaurs have been and gone, but Dala is still in the river. And it is very, very important, not only for Gubby Gubby, and people in Australia, but people the whole world, because just imagine this fish developed uh, a vertebrae, and it may in the future hold a secret to helping people who've got spinal injuries. So it's very important from that point of view, and its only habitat in the world is here in Queensland. A few in the Burnett River, but the majority are in the Mary River, or Mamabala as we call it. So we all must protect that animal, as well as the Mary River turtle. That it's the only place it can be found in the world too. My mother was born on the banks of the river one, one night when the river was flowing and the, star, the whole sky was lit up so the reflection of the sky was on the river on the night my mother was born because that was the night of when Halley's Comet was in the sky. Halley's Comet lit up the whole of that area and, and the river was gleaming, the fish were making noises and she told me all about it later because her br little brother was born there too, three years later. And our people have lived and met in that area for a lot, lots of times. Dala grows to uh, 100 years old. It measures at its greatest length, 1.5 metres. If you go along in a canoe in Mamabala, sometimes Dala will come up beside the canoe and let you can stroke Dala. But that's ha what a friendly creature it is. So it has to have shallow waters where there are water weeds for them to feed on and also to breed in. Our culture and the laws handed down to us say that the ancient spirits ordered Dala to, come, to give life to the earth. They could see there was no life on earth, so they ordered Dala to come out of the the water and give life to all, all the living things that we know today. And we didn't, we were told that, but we didn't realise how important Dala was to the rest of the world too. That is culturally very, very important to us, but it's also environmentally uh, precious to everybody in the world.